I want to begin by asking the student of law whether it is not better to vent your anger like this than go to be beaten. You are an intellectual. There are 50 million people in Uganda. There are enough people to go to the street. But the country is looking at you as one of those that are going to transform society. And you think the most important thing is to go and shout and... Aren't there enough people to do that? With all the investment the country has put in you, the continent has put in you, they have put hope in you, really. I think this is a better way of venting your anger. Actually, more people will hear you than when you're on the street. Abuse of power is a form of corruption. But he did not say why I signed letters suspending leaders. I was actually reacting to abuse of power. And the issue is, even you student leaders, you have power. You have been elected, you have some power. And what you say the other students listen. So when you know very well that there is a fees policy which was approved in 2016, it has been implemented since 2016, and you begin passing around messages saying, management has come up with a new policy, and they have negotiated with the guild president, we must fight them. And you put signs of fire or no. Huh? Now what do you expect me to do? You are abusing your power because you are telling lies to the students. So in that sense, you can say, I'm the first person to fight corruption if abuse of power is corruption. The preliminary results in the just concluded Yubo census indicate that Uganda's population of 45.9 million people, three quarters that is 78% is below the age of 35. The big concern is that 44.4% of our population comprises of dependents, and in my view, this concern calls for hard work, collaborative coordination in addressing the dependency syndrome. Now, those of you that are already innovating and uh, inventing apps and, and, and creating jobs of all sorts. You are the right people that are going to fight this dependency syndrome and in that you will be making a practical, a practical contribution in the fight against corruption by eliminating those who want to have free, to, to have fr freedom to take what they have not earned. So let us, of course there are dependents that, 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 um, that, uh, they are those that, that uh, deserve to be dependent because of their age or because of their status or condition. But it can't be that 44.4 percent of the population are all unable or are too young to earn a living. It is because they expect someone to cater and give them free. So now that you are empowered, please fight the dependency syndrome by involving everyone to do something and earn what they deserve. Given the opportunity to interact with you, distinguished participants, in this dialogue, permit me to appeal to you, youth leaders, and your upcoming colleagues to desist and reject wrong elements who will lure you into obstructive activities that sometimes escalate to crime. There I insist that don't allow your colleagues Convince them and educate them that if you are going to organize what is not acceptable, what is legally wrong, you will be entertaining, uh, again, you'll be entertaining security or police to take you to the courts of law. And when you are divided, others are, are studying, others are demonstrating, others are in courts of law, others are uh, even calling, you know, us in the military, we always come into the situation of civil matter once police has called upon us. So 
again if we are to to to, to join in the fight against stabilizing people other than look, creating jobs or creating wealth it is destructive and we don't want to waste time in fighting crime other than promoting wealth creation or social economic transformation as our topic is today so there is a lot of goodwill by government there is a lot of uh, complementary effort the vice is 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 huge and maybe that is why all of this effort is still being put in place and that is why we benefit from an interaction like this one because we have agreed that uh, corruption starts with you and me that corruption is in your home before you you, you look at uh, general or kanonakalema or my friend from uh, gender uh, they don't have they don't have the final solution the solution is yes policy and uh, mandate they are responsible but it starts from from down so you are there you are getting calls from the rdc from whoever when the cases should be handled by the parish chief the chairman lc1 so um the problem of uh, corruption is complex um there is a lot of goodwill uh the president has demonstrated it we only need to ride on it what has occasioned this uh, interaction is the the the, the that uh, demonstration and i want to add on the words of uh, the professor and uh, and kanonakalema please the youth don't accept to be used as toys as toys and and this culture has also continued in some cases there is there are very valid reasons but uh, the leadership may not necessarily be totally in, uh, because of bad faith it might be to protect uh, to protect you people finish your 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 exams and and course because your for us we pay for us it was free nobody paid the money but now your parents are paying it might be there might be issues that you can resolve without necessarily being violent some of us if you you want to think anger some of us have had more anger than you and we have we have fought wars but we we know what should drive you up to that extent so don't pretend to be angry when you are only being at times manipulated they are wrong people you may on the surface of it look at corruption yes but there are people who have their own agendas you know when someone has been made to come from the back door for too long even where there is no one they will strike so hard to create one at makere university judging by its history we've always been made to always make the road meet the rubber when we are demanding for some of our deliveries but the 88th guild deemed it fit to initiate this platform which we've continued to utilize to solve a number of challenges that we have amid the students fraternity and it has not only created peace but also harmony between the two operating institutions that is the management and the students guild